is up, YouTube? My name is Mr. Gear, and I'm back with a brand new video. And welcome back to the Goldbridge Stand. And what can I say? No one expected this out of Manchester United Football Club. We were 12 points behind Liverpool in the league. And wow, 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 wowzers. I mean, that's all I can say. We are now four points behind with just above 10 games to go. I mean, can we do it? I think we possibly can because what a turnaround this has been ever since we've beaten Liverpool at Anfield. I mean, we, we didn't beat them. We frankly thrashed them. I mean, they, they, they have been faltering. They have been faltering. And with that of Man City, I mean, the... I think the seeds of doubt have been sown into that um, Liverpool side. I mean, they've been flying the entire season, but are they stumbling? Are they slipping like Stevie G? I mean, I, I, I very well think so. I mean, this is so unexpected. I, I, I came up with this analogy like this is watching the Titanic and at the end of the movie, Rose gets picked up by Captain Jack Sparrow. And you're like, wait a minute, what am I watching here? Because we're supposed to be watching a one horse race here. But somehow we are throwing it back. We are throwing it back and now we're seeing Rose become be, become a pirate. I mean, that's exactly what we are. And as pirates, can we steal this um, this league out of, frankly, Liverpool's hands? I mean, I, I, I think, I think, I think, I think we can and I think we will. And, and of course, people will say, hey, man, it's always so many points behind. When were you ever ahead? I mean, people normally don't remember how the trip was they just remember where they're going and i think where we are going we are going to first place and the champions league and speak and speaking about europe i mean a lot of people were calling for the manager's head when we lost against aston villa in the europa league i think was round of 16 or quarter final i don't pay attention to that mediocre league because i'm focused on the big things i'm focused on where we are heading i mean ever since he came back um I've been looking at, okay, this is what he's building. He is getting the support, and frankly, he's building a Galactico side, in my humble opinion. He is building a Galactico side. And uh, can he do it? Of course he can. I mean, ever since he came back, I think we lost once, and that was against Man City, and that was with the help of VR. So Man City doing Man City things. But besides all that, man, the FA Cup is there. We are having a great run in that. The Premier League is there. And we are absolutely throwing back those points that we lost, frankly, because of, um, frankly, his inexperience. I mean, this reminds me of an age-old story from back in the day about Solihill Moors. I mean, Solihill Moors, I mean, people didn't even think they were top six material. And people didn't think this manager was top six material in the Premier League. And just look at what he's accomplishing. I mean, the, Sol the, the, the Solihill Moors manager broke the point tally and broke the goal and um, the goal scored record and i think we're gonna we i don't think we'll break records <laughs> but we will break liverpool hearts and frankly that's as good as any record uh a Manchester united fan can hope for <clears throat> so goal bridge at the wheel and let me ask you this how does it feel because I feel optimistic, I feel reinvigorated. We are focusing on bigger things. Yes, Europe it was an ill dream, but this reminds me of one of those friends that you used to have. I'm pretty sure you guys have it. Um, they are dumb but smart at the same time. Let's say you ask them a simple question, they fumble it. But when you ask them a deep philosophical question, they absolutely blow your mind. And this is exactly what's happening. Yes, we fumbled the Conference League. Yes, we fumbled the Europa League. But I don't think we'll fumble the Premier League, and I don't think we will fumble the Champions. Champions League. I mean, when the going gets tough, <laughs> you know the rest. Um, and all that's left for me to say is wishing all of you a very good day. Bye-bye.